In version 11 of Analyst, we've made it easier for you to draw your layouts in a number of ways. First of all, what I'm going to show you in this video is an example of some new uh, pre-configured shapes or p-cells that we have in version 11. And second of all, you can actually create your own cells if they're not available using our new 3D editor. In this example, the designer has a mimic, and you can see the 3D view of this uh, right here. And what they wish to do is include it in a package. And this is a quad flat pack, no lead type package. I'll show you what it looks like in Analyst, uh, which you can see right here. Notice the red area is the package with the leads coming uh, out of it and then attaching uh, to the various ports outside the package and you can see the ground balls that were drawn. The exciting part is when I click on the red area that is actually a uh, 3D p-cell that is included in version 11. The designer never drew it. Where do these p-cells live? If you follow my cursor to the left you can see in the included libraries we now have 3D EM elements and in particular this element is located under packages and the designer simply dragged in the cell and then changed the parameters to size it accordingly. The 3D view of what you just saw is here where I've already meshed it. Notice the different colors of the leads and the lines. Uh, this shows you the DC connectivity of the nets. Uh, we do that so that you don't uh, accidentally have a short or an open. If you take a look at the left now as I go over to the project, you can see the mimic on package is at the highest level, which you see before you here. And then as we descend into the hierarchy, the subcircuits, we have both the mimic itself and the quad flat package that you just saw. So in this way, it's very easy to integrate the finite element results uh, with the circuit results. We finish up then by running uh, harmonic balance on the entire circuit that you see before you. Let's take a quick look at the result. The brown curve is a picture of the power gain going through the amplifier from 8 to 12 gigahertz without the package. The dotted curve is the effect of the package on the gain and you can see uh, it has a uh, negative effect. Uh, what is going on here is there is actually a resonance in the package. The blue curve is an effort to improve the performance of the package by adding more ground balls. Again, what made this so nice was that first of all the designer could actually use a built-in p-cell and not have to draw the package. Second of all, the designer could use the built-in hierarchy in microwave office to very quickly include the finite element results in the chip simulation.